Are you learning cello through essential elements? Then this is the video for you. Today I'll be covering number 168, which is the Arkansas Traveler. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I give you tips and tools so that you can learn to play the cello. So this song, Arkansas Traveler, is a Southern American folk song. So I hope that you're having some fun while you are learning this song. Here we are working on the stroke staccato, which means short notes. And if you need a formal definition, it is found at the top of the page. And staccato notes will have this dot that is located above each of the notes that they want to be played short. Keep in mind, that a lot of people exaggerate the motion of playing a short note by actually lifting their bow off of the string to show how short it is, but you don't need to do that. A staccato note simply means that you stop the bow short. So I actually really encourage you that you keep the bow in contact with the string and all you do is stop your bow stroke. This song has two sharps in it, F sharp and C sharp, so that is the key of D major. Let's go ahead and play the D major scale, but let's try to keep all of our notes nice and short. to the notes in this song when there are skips versus steps. It can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're playing this song with a little bit of speed. So if you take the time to pay attention to these things, you're definitely going to be just fine. The time signature here is 4-4, four, four, which means four quarter notes in a measure. But as you can see at the beginning of the song, there is the pickup of the one quarter note. So remember, the end of the song will have the remaining three quarter note beats that are missing at the beginning. Keep in mind that when you are playing short quarter notes, you're just trying to make them short, but not super short, right? So you need to hear the separation between each of the notes, but don't make it so short that it almost comes out just like a squeak. I know that that can be a little bit vague at times, so just play around with different lengths of notes and try to see how you can listen for the separation between each of the notes instead of making them smooth and connected, and that will definitely help. So I'll play through once by myself, and then I'll play through once with the accompaniment provided by Hal Leonard. Here we go. One sixty eight, Arkansas Traveler. There are three beats in this count off. So there it was number 168, Arkansas Traveler, which really works on staccato notes. If there are any questions that I haven't addressed in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button if you're a fan of essential elements, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other cello emoji videos. Check out the videos on your screen right now for some other essential elements tutorials, as well as some other videos that can help you on your cello journey. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!